that was Toad. He was saying, welcome to Mario Party. This is, um, is more Mario Party. The good one between the two Mario Parties on the Switch. I actually am playing online, and you can probably tell by the title of this either video or stream who I'm playing with, but if, um, if you didn't, I'm playing with John, Paul, George, and Ringo. Hey Hello. everyone. Hello, yeah. Great. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I have, um, I do have a Johnny here. <laughs> so that's... Hi. So Johnny, I have Jackal. And who wants to be Ringo? Uh, not me. I'll be Ringo. <laughs> <laughs> and Bass Clef. Hello. So we're going to try to get uh, some use out of our purchases with this game. We're, we're, you know, we don't want buyer's remorse. It's a good game. We, we've enjoyed it, but we decided let's organize a little session. It'll be fun. That said, um, we may rotate, do like maybe two and then have someone new. Like a Dave. One of the several thousand Daves I know. So let's do it. Mario Party. Maybe two. I think you're underestimating how long these matches go. Yeah, it took four hours last time, but that four hours was people learning the minigames, um, cum jokes, and... Oh, just banter. And Rev, Rev talking about stabbing people. So there's... There's a lot of in-between. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this game tends to inspire quite a bit of that, even when I've been streaming it. Just, it's been cursed shit. There's, yeah, there's definitely some cursed conversation. Okay. Alright, All right, we're, you know, this is an eclectic group. Yeah. We got the two Ouijis, so there's some big Ouiji energy here. And, um, I really want to check out Horrorland. I still haven't played it. I've saved the opportunity. So... It's okay. It's can, pretty good. Can we do it? Should we do ten turns? And that way Whatever we can... Whatever you want to do. We, we can do ten and then another ten later? Yeah. 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 Okay, because, yeah, the fucking fifteen turns. It's like, oh, bro, it'll take forty-five minutes. That's what the game says. And it's like no, two hours guess. later. We're all <laughs> tired and we're like, oh, make it stop. <laughs> <laughs> you can also you you can also try um, uh, one star handicap so everyone starts win one with one star and that way we can start stealing stars right away. Yeah, I've we I did this once before, which is a cool idea. I just didn't do it because um, it's not the classic Mario Party way. I don't know. I, it was dumb, but I like this idea. Also. I love that you can choose star. which games, mini games, come up. That's a really nice feature. It's a really big pipe. Uh, yeah, and and like, they all fit, <laughs> and there's room to spare, and it goes on forever. All right, we made it. This is Horrorland. Yeah, I'm excited. I liked Mario Party 2 maybe the best, so I would assume from back in the day I liked Horrorland. I played it the other day. It was pretty nice. It's a shame that the characters don't get custom outfits for the levels, though. Like in Mario Party 2. Yeah, that would have been, honestly, that's like a kind of a missed opportunity, truthfully. I wish they could have put more characters in this too. Uh, Agreed. Just like from, yeah, the newer ones. So, which characters? I'm thinking like Hammer Bros would be my choice. Like just just random Mario enemies. Spike is a popular one. Spike was in the previous yeah. one, right? I believe. I so. think so. Yeah. I like dry um, bones shy, well. shy guy. Yeah, dry bones, shy guy. Damn. Um, wow. They they could also they could also add just other Nintendo characters for no reason. Like there's no limitation for them to not do it. Link, Samus, why not? Yeah, Nintendo yeah. Party. Yeah, like in Mario Kart. They could add Bayonetta. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Bayonetta. Just 
Just says, just add everyone. It's now. just all legs. <laughs> <laughs> Can't even see the top half. Legonetta. <laughs> also, um, Johnny, the volume sounds good on my end. It sounds like everything's balanced, but if it's not. I think it gets the yeah. dis the Discord track gets added to the track with the game, right? So that would be tough to separate. Yeah, it will be in the same track. So, all right. It sounds if it is too bad, I, c I can fix it maybe. I think it sounds pretty good to me, but you need to use the AI Peter Jackson used for that Beetle documentary, I think. So, you know, just use it, bro. Okay. You, just call call Peter Jackson, get the AI, and. Uh, Oh, yeah, yeah, he music. wanted to come home the other day, but I, I don't like that guy coming here. No, but I can bring him up. Okay, yeah, no, we we're. <laughs> it's like when people are like, Vinny, why don't you hang out with big streamer, insert big streamer, or like, you know, internet celebrity? And I'm like, yeah, I, I don't know a lot of people. Like, I don't have the ability to just go hang out with Red Letter Media. <laughs> <laughs> are they gonna tolerate your jokes? That's that's the real question. <laughs> Any, your references? Yeah. Well, if you mean my references, you then you just mean their references. <laughs> if it's Red Letter oh, Media. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Already two items. Man, the boards look great. They, they did a really nice job with the visuals in this game. Like, way better than a Mario Party has any right to be. Very clean. That's right. Very clean, like Paul's grandfather from the Beatles. I'm oh, sorry. I. <laughs> I'll stop. That's. I'm watching the I'm not thing. Not get any of that. <laughs> yeah. yeah I, I barely know anything about the Beatles. Uh, well, just know one thing. They had a number one single. It's the only song you need to listen to by them. It's called "It's Okay to Leave Your Dog in a Hot Car." That's it. That's all you need to listen to. And temporary secretary. Well, that was Paul, but you know. That uh, was just Paul. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm also. I have a glass of the amaretto. I mentioned earlier, but I'm going to mention it now while we're uh, recording, because amaretto is delicious, and uh, I spent money on the bottle, so I'm going to have it. When better than Could Mario you Party? Could you explain for those of us who are not familiar with that what that is? It's very sweet Italian uh, li liqueur that tastes. Uh. Do you base or jackal? Can, have you ever had it? Uh, no. I just drink straight up vodka. <laughs> straight up <laughs> the fuck? But I used to drink alcohol. <laughs> yes. I used to just drink vodka Chattel, like a, it's fuck? ice water. <laughs> you guys never drink alcohol straight from the bottle? Yeah, I have, yeah. but You don't not... like warm alcohol? Not oh, vodka. This no. one already? You don't drink vodka? <laughs> no, I don't I don't drink vodka. Vodka's great. You gotta like, mix especially it, like dude. in the different flavors. Nah, straight vodka. You gotta no ice or anything like that. Just drink it straight. Jackal, out of the bottle. what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> what? Like no one does? No, I, I tell you, there are many people who do this in Siberia. Uh, <laughs> no, I, well, I, I have done it, but I don't do it. Don't, at often. don't, just don't drink vodka before you go to sleep because vodka dreams are really like it, that's not something you want to do. Oh, All right. I gotta, gotta hit the start. Let's see, how do you? Oh, yeah, this button. Th this one, <laughs> the, yeah, this is uh, stigmata. Oh no! Oh no! Yeah, you have to roll. I was told you oh. have to like roll your. Oh, oh, okay. Like you have to roll the joystick under your palm in order to get that one. Like yeah. um, to roll. Yeah, because you have to like rotate it fast enough. Well, that one was wow, infamous was because there it was creating burns on children's hands in the late nineties. <laughs> so Nintendo sent like gloves, I believe, um, out, and they they like told people don't do this. Because oh, lawsuits were pending. A lawsuit? They actually had, like, gloves? Like, like gamer controller sweat like, gloves? Because, like, like gamer biker gloves, yeah. <laughs> I want those. I know, like, that's probably like, like a sweat? collector's item. 
No, so that your hand didn't get all fucked up from rotating oh. that. Oh. Yeah, because the it was burning kids' hands because they were playing that. Truthfully, that's so and useful though. In future Mario Party games, they removed the rotate the stick mini games for that exact reason. Truthfully, I'm surprised it's back in this game. Well, th they huh. put a disclaimer on the on the tutorial, so they are not liable anymore. That's the all. Yeah. Th they, yeah, they don't care about children's hands. They just want to not be sued. Yeah. Also, uh, the controller is not as awful as it was on on the N64. True. Yeah, no, that one was like plastic. This one's like more. Well, not plastic entirely, but like it had ridges. This one's more rubbery and nice. God damn it. It's not gonna be enough. Vin, what controller are you using? Like a pro controller or just actual, like, Joy-Con? Pro today. Okay. That's what I'm using. Yeah, Pro Control. I love the Pro Controller. It's really nice. I've been tempted to buy it, but there is just no reason to when I have the 8 bit dome. Yeah, a lot of controllers nowadays are super expensive. <laughs> oh, another one. It, it is on sale right now for like 50 if you are looking for one. I already have an 8 bit dome controller. Oh, thank you. You don't need it. Yeah. <laughs> if if you have an ABD, then you were talking earlier about um, connecting your controller to your PC. You don't need to re rebind the controller to the switch every time with a with an ABD. Oh, okay. Well, the reason why I do yeah. it is because a uh, pro controller has a gyro control that you can use uh, through Steam. Oh, through yeah, games. right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, doesn't ABD the new one have um, gyro? Did both, the older and the, and the current one. So yeah, and so, but I'm I'm having trouble using gyro for Ocarina of Time. 3D, but that's a, a long story. But yeah, I um, I want to figure. I gotta figure you, out. You're you're using the a bit though, or? I am using right now. Yeah, I, I was using that in switch mode, and it was like a number of steps. It's a long story. I won't bore you with it now while we're doing this, but I'll just tell you it was um, a pain in the ass, and I couldn't figure it out. So I drank a whole mm. bottle of vodka as a result. <laughs> <laughs> wow. No, uh, wow. but yeah, the gyro is good, and the Switch Pro has that. The 8 bit though has that, 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 as I've just learned. So that's cool. This is a long turn. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, there's so much of the the board that happens that you forget there's many games. Like, all right. That's right, this game has many games. Finish. Cool. Mm -hmm. Got it. The, um, the current controller, the uh, the newest one, AB Doe, is pretty easy to switch the modes. It just has a... a a little switch. A little thingy on the back. Yeah, a little switch on the back. Just pull it one way for the uh, for the switch and the other for PC and that's it. Oh. I like it. I used it from Mario Party when I had some people over. We That was one of the controllers. And it wasn't like me giving them the Mad Cats. It was mm. actually quality. Yeah, it's really good. Oh, look at that. You don't have the money for it. Oh... Truthfully, oh, none of us, already. none of us do. Ah, <laughs> uh, true. Actually, uh, I'm like, I have this captured on Amorex, so like, uh, for some reason the Amorex screen is like really huge, so it's like, it was cutting off like the amount that I had. So I can see it. Oh. That was what was fucking up my audio. I used, really? I always called it AMA Rec, cause I don't know, but I like Amorex better as a pronunciation. I used that for years because that was the recommendation for my captured cards audio issues. Now that doesn't work, but it works in OBS more or less fine. So huh. fucking weird. Yeah. I get uh war <laughs> guess uh people on my actually you know what people on my stream would just embrace this, but I get warbles randomly. Like they'll <laughs> uh, warble the audio, but it's great because if they're singing 
in like the background of something, it, it, it makes the singing sound drunk. Okay. So they're just like, I just, yeah, the yeah. warbles. Okay. Yeah. I remember I had those in the past. What capture card do you have? Um, I'm using an Elgato H260 PCIe. Okay, I have the exact same thing. Mine doesn't warble anymore, but um, I can tell you there is a weird... There's a version of Amarek that's newer. That isn't advertised on their main site. Do you have that one? Do you know? I... Pr I probably haven't updated this one in a while. This is like 2.31, so it's probably okay. quite outdated. So I'll... If anything, I'll send you the one that I have, but uh, if you like the warbles, then you like the warbles. That's good. Uh, yeah, I, I almost think that my chat likes the warbles, because it, it, it happens randomly, and, it, and sometimes it's good. Like... Especially if it's like, uh, if there's like really good music going on and it like start, starts like the warbles happen and it starts sounding drunk and I, I don't know, I guess I, I'd be heartbroken to get rid of it. Yeah. Or it's like <laughs> so a really serious scene like Cloud. This planet is dying. <laughs> Cloud. I hate to tell you, but Sephiroth, he killed. I don't want to spoil the game, but. Oh my god. You can't spoil Final Fantasy VII, that would just be terrible. That would be, uh, really bad. Finish. It's a lot faster mm. than he was in the practice round. <laughs> oh, nice. Did the screen just get, like, weird? Yeah, it did. A little okay. bit yeah. Cool, okay, as long as it wasn't just me. Oh, this wasn't this wasn't even the round mini game. It was no, nope. versus. That was a long ass round. That that's why it's good to do ten instead of fifteen if you're in a rush. Not that we're even in a rush necessarily, but like some of these turns can take fucking forever. Oh god, of Gosh. all the ones. <laughs> Ugh. What? Wait. I'm good at this in real life, but like in video wow, games, really? when it comes to memory placement, I'm not really good. For whatever reason. Oh, I didn't pay attention. I don't remember. Why can you close the curtain? Once you're done, so people don't copy you. Oh. Okay. I. It's just gonna leave luck to heaven, <laughs> which is what. I guess Nintendo means. Sorry, I wrong button. Did he close the curtains? Finish. B. Birdo's hand is weird. It's the yeah. Everything about Birdo is is weird. <laughs> if you think about it. If I even want to get into that discussion, because that became a whole thing for my stream. And yeah. Just went off fucking rails. <laughs> it's even a new mode. Is mm -hmm. it on your Discord, Jackal? Um, do I? I think I can't. Well, I don't know. I don't have Nitro, so I probably can't no. post it. Yeah. I do, it's but okay. if you have it, I need to... What's the... I can't post it because I don't have Nitro, so if you have it. Oh, that's the name? Oh, nice name. <laughs> what did I call it? That's the come one. No, I mean, that's <laughs> the, the not Twitch one. Hey, you, you can say <laughs> that because, not. again, that last Mario Party was all come. I'll come all the time. <laughs> okay, I so I I had uh, so this is Super Shy Guy uh, XXL who does like he probably has done emotes for you does really good pixel art. Uh, I commissioned him to do one for me and it's a Birdo plunger because that I'd have to explain that. But uh, like I made uh... one, I had him do a safe work one for Twitch, uh, which is just a drop of water 
but the the Discord one has a different. <laughs> so... Oh, it's different. Uh, oh. yeah. So it's only I, a drop I didn't of even water. Notice. Except I always the... thought it's it was, milk. was a drop of water. No, it's milk. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's milk. milk. <laughs> Sims like why? <laughs> The idea uh, being that's how Birdo gets, you know, nutrient, nu nutrition, and, and gets strong. The Birdos feed via milk. They're mammals, right? I didn't explain how that happened. What, Wait, Birdo? What? <laughs> oh, I'm on this side of the map now. Yeah, that eye Why? screwed you up. Yep. Oh, okay. Where's the star now? Oh, it's behind me. Yep, Isn't that, go. like, kind of fucked up? Like, poor Toadette. Nah, she's fine, bro. Yeah, whatever. Oh, nice. She she likes it. Okay. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> it's, like, it's like a haunted house where you get scared on purpose. That's the only I mean, thing you ever have to say. Time. Oh, nice. <laughs> It's the only excitement she gets in this, you know, while she's waiting for everyone else to steal the fucking star. Or not steal, just buy to be able to afford a star in the first place. So. What? Oh my god, I, I, I don't I, I didn't have even... Yeah, I, I was gonna say, John, you're excited. Unfortunately... I thought it was... No. Yeah, oh, I thought he was ten. Yeah, I wasn't gonna say anything. But... Oh, okay. But look at this. Star? Look at that dong face. Why don't you be a star? Oh, no. okay. Okay, that's not too bad then. I definitely don't have enough coins. A whole is, three coins. Nice. Is Birdo also a marsupial? Can Birdo just be everything? Like Wait, have aquatic? You seen... Birdo can be whatever you want. Should I? Uh, mammal? Should I even like show him the anatomy, like art that people have done of Birdo, which is extremely cursed? Like showing what yeah. what's going on with the mouth. Like I, I don't I don't know if I should show you that. Sh it, show me and I'll talk anyway. about it without showing <laughs> people. <laughs> And I'll just, you know, it'll be like Maybe me, later. like, reacting to it. So, <laughs> when it's Johnny's turn next door, you know, like, yeah. So next dong turn. <laughs> yeah, let me see if I can find it. Let me, let me dive through, like, tons of messages in, in another, like, channel with cursed shit. So, to, so to cursed. It. Next time the dong is up. Oh, yeah. Let me, I'll, I'll do my thing and then I'll try and search for it. Oh, God damn it! I was only able to get that star via a, a perfect set of circumstances. It was... that was... yeah. That was, like, very unexpected. Oh my god! No. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck so, you! Get three coin? Get, give three coin. She didn't even get it. They took it from her. Yeah. Because what's the bank? Where's the money go? Does it get added to the money belts? It seems so. All the red... Like, yeah, like, I wonder if laundered. the economy of Mario Party... I wonder if someone oh, has now. done, like, a fanfic on this. <laughs> where they talk Mario about... Mario Party like, is just a big laundering scheme. Yeah. For the Mario Brothers. <laughs> like, all the, <laughs> oh, the, no, my... the red star... Oh, hold on, hold on. The red don't, spaces. Don't, don't, don't start it. My battery got depleted on my controller. Oh, no. Uh oh Well, here, let me go dig for something while you're... Something. That. I'm gonna need more of this amaretto. Let's see. Birdo Anatomy. Let, let, let me search for that. Where can I find the art of that? Can I even find that? This Anatomy of Yoshi. What? Why does it include the egg? Oh, that's cursed too. <laughs> Why? Well, this yeah, is why I... we can't have nice things. <laughs> Really? <laughs> okay, I got it now. 
I mean, you don't even know about the whole thing with Yoshi either, which is equally cursed. <sighs> I know yeah, about I'll, smelly I'll eggs. It's starting, Jackal. Well, I don't know if you are. Okay. Yeah, I'm. Okay. Jackal, you want to stay up there too, because you get first pick. Oh shit! Yeah, stay up there. Damn it! I think they. You, know, you get respawned there. I actually haven't there. done this many times, so. You're you're good. I didn't I didn't realize the, they spawned the you back here. up there. So so uh, the whole plunder thing it starts because of the fucking Yoshi sticker. You know the one where he looks like he's getting oh, yeah. either you know getting it from behind. So there was the debate. We were wondering <laughs> was he getting it good from behind or was he getting plunged really good from the front? And we decided he's getting plunged from the front. But who's doing the plunging? And, and I was like, you know, it, yes. And and then we decided that like you know why doesn't Mario you know instead of using a plunger. Birdo's got the perfect mouth for plunging. <laughs> so what isn't like? So what is Mario just go over tip tip Birdo over and use Birdo's mouth as a plunger? And then someone drew art for that that I'll have to show you if you haven't seen it. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. So. Oh my god. And it just went from there. Jacko, cool. I, I, I was there when 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 we were when when that happened, right? You walked into it. I don't know if you walked into the thing we were talking about. Now, I I wasn't the one who came up with this. They were talking about okay, who who is? Birdo's obviously married, right? It, she, she's got like a, a a ring on her finger or something. So we're like, who is Birdo's canon like you know partner or something? And we're like, you know, it's got to be a dinosaur, right? And so we're like, okay, well maybe Yoshi. And now Yoshi can lay eggs, right? Birdo mm. can shoot eggs from the mouth. Now now imagine what can go on. When you when you put those two things together, it's, yeah, and, um, magic. It, it might be a, a certain swapping of eggs. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> yeah, this is the one who came up with that. Yeah, My that's, chat that's is not magic. so I have that. Yes, but, um, but now the now the question is: Is Birdo producing the eggs and putting them in Yoshi, or the other way around? <laughs> no, that's the question. I know. I I know the answer. <laughs> Is okay. Yoshi's lo like you know how you reload a gun, <clears throat> or you like not with a, a magazine? Well, I guess you could. Yeah. So so like Yoshi just puts a bunch of eggs up Birdo's butt, and then they come out the front like reverse. Oh. I wonder if that happens sure. in nature. <laughs> wow. Sorry, to that. I mean, this is Nintendo's fault for putting Birdo in the it game really as, like, one of the few playable characters. Birdo doesn't get their own game. Birdo doesn't have any real, like... You know, Birdo was, like, a little mini-boss in Mario 2, and yet Birdo has become one of the main casts of the Mario franchise <laughs> in all the, like, spin-offs. It's crazy. So, if they didn't want us to speculate about the egg production and the plunging, then, you know, maybe Birdo shouldn't be in the game. That's all I'm saying. Well, like, didn't he? It's, it is Nintendo's fault, though, because there's Captain Rainbow, and what was in that tied to Birdo? Oh, yeah. Birdo. Yeah, that's a whole yeah, conversation. That's so. that's some intense lore. Watch, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop this. I, I didn't find Birdo anatomy, oh, I found Yoshi anatomy, and then that's gonna, I'm sure that's gonna that's scar so somebody. <laughs> Which I'll put this out of context in there. Why did they like they, they included the egg? Mm -hmm. Why? Yeah, this is this is not okay. It this has is, this is not okay. No, the I don't fat, like it. I don't like it either. The fat allows Yoshi to travel long distances without food or water. Also, a great saddle. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh, <laughs> oh I should have spoiled that. I, I'm gonna remove it. I don't like looking at it. Egg shoot. Gizzard. <laughs> Born with a oh, shoe, no. Yoshi can cross many hazardous ground right from birth. The shoe is actually thick, hard skin with fat to absorb weight. What? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I was trying to find the image that Jackal couldn't find, but I found something else. Hold what on, how do I post it as a... I need to post it as a spoiler because it's a little cursed. 
Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Let me. See what okay. This is. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, Johnny. There, there's a Larry Aww. David gif. I'm sure that's all, that exists on the internet. Uh, he's just done. It's just him saying okay, and he just walks away. He makes a stinky face, and then he he leaves. He's done. I, that's how I feel right now. That's how I feel right now. I know some people com uh, uh, communicate through gifs and emojis. I'm too lazy. I'm sitting on my couch right now, but just I'm done. I'm good. Oh God, I could have afforded that if I just had more coins. Set two it, two times in a row. Just that's the heartbreak of Mario Party. Or being bad at mini games, which is like that's both. literally the only thing you can control. <laughs> <laughs> Barely. What is, what is this? What? So, yeah, you got to oh, mash the B button. Oh, have to hit it. Like okay. So this is co-op for two people, and then you you hit the prompt and you solve a number of little dungeon puzzles together. First team to the finish wins. It's it's really this is like a classic great mini game. I'm I'm a fan. All right, dong. Here we go. I'm so so hard piece. I'm so so at the fucking button right. matching. Oh. Oh. Yep. That, should wait. That, that, yep, Kill. that happens. <laughs> that absolutely off. happens. Oh. Okay. Nope. Jo jo oh, I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> That's right. okay. Here, look. It. I'll keep it right there okay. for you. Okay. Okay. I'll tell you when to jump because it gets a little... No. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, the jumping is a little scummy. <laughs> yeah, I... I believe in you. You can do it. It's like... My... Right. I actually have this oh, problem with games of judging uh, jump distance, so... Imagine that's why 3D. all jump games need to be VR or 3D. <laughs> and weirdly enough, Mario 3D Land was actually good for platforming because of that exact reason. You could just th turn the 3D on and oh, it was so easier to judge. I'm on. Oh, yeah, sorry, base. Whoa. I'm like, thinking about other stuff. God damn it! <laughs> Were you guys actually having the same problem for a bit, huh? We had a- yeah, similar. Alright. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Top, top right. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! It's like I, I put, push the jump button, but uh, I pushed it too late. <laughs> oh. uh, I have a feeling that we're not gonna make it. No, yeah, they're already there, so. <laughs> All right. Uh. We did it. Nice. We the Dragon Ball is now free. Congratulations. <laughs> Winners. Goken can now finally get his Dragon Balls. Finally. Do you think they make wax Dragon Ball replicas? Definitely. Johnny, what the fuck did you post? <laughs> oh no, another cursed image. What is it? Oh, okay. okay. It's just... Oh. I was about to say, I, I thought it was something that had, you know, it was one of those x-rays that shows something inside someone because they stuck it in too far. Oh. To go, you know, but... <laughs> no, no, it's not that. It's not that. No, okay. Although, so it's just... It seems like it was going to be that. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like that. Jesus. Just another random search of salt from that bird. They turn to night. Oh, Google right. Search. Different things happen. Okay. Okay, I want. Shove it up your fucking. 
<laughs> Sorry, no, I was just thinking about Birdo. It's all right. It's fine. Yeah, it's, it's all right. It's my fault. No, I mean, again, cursed conversation weirdly happens a lot around Mario Party. This is not, this is not exclusive to any one group of people. It's This game is Beppy, but then it usually devolves into cursed shit. Yeah. I mean, it's not like there's a whole lot going on between the mini games and you just like destroying everyone on the board. You're it just left kinda... to your own devices and thoughts while you stare at something with a big hole in its face. <laughs> it's a very strange oh, yeah. character design, like in the first place. <laughs> Didn't Birdo appear in the Super Mario Brothers Super Show? I think oh, so. Oh, I have images of that, because uh, someone sent me how cursed it looked. Um... Yeah, when I when I get a chance, I gotta show those, because yeah. they're good. Because I, I remember, I've seen every episode when I was a kid. Well, not all of them when I was a ki kid, but then when I got older, I rewatched the whole Super Show. But, um, Captain N was the show that was most cursed in its interpretation of video game characters, easily. Oh, yeah. I, I've never done this mini game before. I, I mean, I probably have in Mario Party Six, but I also it's possible to get all the coins. Okay. So then, let's see if we can do it. Oh, that was a oh. terrible jump. <laughs> oh. Okay, cool. Oh, nice. Good. Good, good, good. I tried to be a completionist oh. and and get oh, fucking hell. That oh, you guys perfect. got all it's of them. Yeah. Yep. Can't look at Bruno's mouth the same way. Sounds like suburban Sasquatch. <sighs> Let's see. Down to the last five. I mean, it went quick because it went quick. It's amazing yes. how much difference 15 to 10 rounds can make. Jesus. Oh, somebody, you found it, Johnny. That's one yeah, of them. I, I don't think like there's this more image. than that. Oops. I think I have one more. Why is there drool? Why is the drool white? That's my my milk. issue. Yeah, oh yeah, that's yeah, the, that is very. Oh, I can yeah. show that. Oh, they're. Oh yeah, you found them. Oh. Yeah, yeah the, that's the bird one that had like a mom thing going on. Mm -hmm. it's like, yeah, that's right. Toad. There's a whole weird episode about like yeah, Toad. Um, oh no. Was like the baby. Oh no! Oh my god! <laughs> Here, I'm gonna wow. show this. Is, uh, white. Toad is not happy. <laughs> I'll sh okay, so here's a story in three pictures, everyone watching out there. Here's the first one. Here's the second one. And... <laughs> poor Toad. <laughs> uh, Again, this was in a Bruno. show that I grew up watching. So. It, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I got a pity pipe. It was just the milk. You yeah, got a she pity was pipe, milk. and also you're doing, like, pretty well. Like, you have a lot of coins. <laughs> oh, well, now I do. Hmm. She was drinking milk. Oh, she, she was actually drinking milk, yes. Eh? <laughs> Oh! Oh no! No! Yeah. 
Fucking Cooper Bank. <laughs> hmm. Oh, here's that one picture that somebody drew for me of Birdo getting plunged. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. You had to say yeah. it like that. <laughs> it's uh, you can show it. <laughs> oh, I don't. <laughs> it's fine. Um, listen, I'm not gonna. It's not the worst thing I've seen, but it's it's. Yeah. It, yeah. It's just. It, it, it looks fine. like Birdo just had a workout, and Mario do, is do, holding do. a glove on Birdo. As like. Do, do it for the. Do it for the clip channel. <laughs> Oh no, Johnny! I uh, are any of you recording this? No. Uh -oh. oh shit! No. No. Okay, I don't know where it stopped. Um. Okay, so there's a bit of a problem. I think oh, when I put God. my phone down, I it accidentally hit the stream deck pause button. That said, I've got 41 minutes. So I think I've got most of what we've done, and I'm pretty sure we missed like five minutes. Okay. So, okay. So that, that's, that, that's not that. Bad. That still sucks because I. All right. Let me just update people. I don't know what people saw. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> you might have missed base wagering fifty coins and gaining a hundred against Johnny as they played that fucking clock mini game where Dong just got blasted. You may have missed me showing this art. Of Birdo getting plunged, which I will show you again now. Oh, uh, okay. well, it doesn't have the same impact now. It doesn't. It doesn't. And that's the sad thing. I don't know. I hope you didn't miss this, dear viewer. But I suggested that John Waters should do a movie starring Birdo. It would be the Mario Brothers movie starring Chris Pratt and Divine as Birdo. Okay. <laughs> now we can start. So I hope we didn't miss too much, but I feel like we've been only going for about 40-something minutes anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Very intense minigame. Oh no. Okay, I got, I got kind of. <laughs> <coughs> Goodbye. I, oh I, shit! <laughs> you choking? I, I tried specifically yeah, to um, screw over base by by Waluigiing him into the page, and I ended up dying. Doesn't pay. I was, and for <laughs> oh, a second I, no. I looked away. <laughs> <to see. laughs> We won. To try to guess how much <laughs> how much time we uh, lost. Doesn't seem like it, it was too much. Yeah, because I don't think forty one minutes or so seems like about the, well, we the started, amount of time. Yeah, because I was paying attention to when we started. You didn't lose very much at all because we started a little late. Yeah, I've also learned my from my mistakes, and I moved my stream deck to a location where I will not accidentally place an object next to it so nice is this the new uh you turning your oven on <laughs> yeah <laughs> accidentally oh turning your oven on <laughs> it's like thank you stream deck you've you've added new challenges <laughs> who do you want to duel uh oh face <laughs> yes it has to happen 50 i'm not i'm not going to wager 50 Nice. 51. I'm wagering 51. <laughs> <laughs> I still have enough to buy like two stars. Three of them. I feel like Waluigi's the type of person who likes the taste of medicine. <laughs> uh, like cod liver oil? Yeah, stuff like that. Just medicine. You know, you know, back in the old days, uh, vodka was considered, um, <laughs> medicine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. 
Again, I like vodka with the right stuff. Like, uh, Crystal had vodka with a little bit of citrus. So, I've had it... No, I don't usually drink it mixed, but when I've gone out before, back when I drank it, alcohol, uh, there's some places that would mix... There was, like, a cranberry vodka mixture. Yeah. Like, when it's, like, mixed, vodka like cranberry. some kind of fruit thing, it's good. Yeah, yeah. I, anything like that I can do. Straight from the bottle, no. Though I've had the s'mores vodka, which is just sugar death. So, like, do you drink for taste, or... It, no, I, I... For me, it's something strong enough, I mean... Maker's Mark on the Rocks is my drink of choice, which does not taste good. Mm. But it doesn't matter, because, you know, that's not why we drink. It's just, I need a little something. If it tastes like rancid, like, donkey dong, then I don't want it. <laughs> so I, I need to at least have a little... So like, this amaretto stuff is actually delicious. That's like a treat for the holidays, you know? Yeah, I used to get, um, I used to like getting Captain Morgan's too, because I used to like, like drinking rum, and I liked when they did the holiday, uh, flavors. What for bullshit?! <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you get distracted by the No, the no, not at all. It was at the exact no? same time, but I ended up winning for some reason. <laughs> oh, no, that, that, such... that happened with me! Nonsense! If you hug oh the, uh, my god. If you hug the things close enough, you can get in there, like, a lot sooner than anyone, like, uh, even if the person's, Jackal. like, around the same thing. That was, like, a what? two or three frame loss. That happened to me! I, when I streamed, when I did that minigame and was playing against, who was it, Johnny? Was it you, Johnny, or someone else? I think it was Cheesy. Oh, Cheesy. <laughs> yeah. I, I well, can't yeah, believe the same it. thing happened. I'm sorry, Ben. That's okay. I mean, oh my god. I mean, listen, you had that more was to a good, lose than me. I don't mind. I mean, it, I have two stars. It was a good. It was a good fight. But holy fuck, you need to hit a Bowser space, son. <laughs> I mean, who Bowser knows? revolution. It, it is time for your appointment with Bowser. He he's ready to plunge you into oblivion. <laughs> I like how plunging has taken on a new, like, meaning now. This is your fault. Uh-huh. <laughs> Sometimes I just like a word. Either. There's just words that just, uh, like, stick within my subconscious, and I can't... And I can't help it. <laughs> Johnny, I have to ask you... Can you... Confirm or deny that you're linked... Uh, Link's Adventure, uh, Zelda 2 randomized thumbnail and your uh, Animal Crossing thumbnail can you confirm or deny that those are linked? Uh? In, in what way? In what way? I, I, I don't get it. Can I show you? Okay. Was this intentional? Yay or nay? Oh, holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know! <laughs> no, it, that was not intentional! <laughs> okay, because someone just posted that. Someone noticed that I'm gonna show the audience. So, uh, <clears throat> oh, of course it was intentional. Uh, oh yes, of course it was. Yeah, I, I, I'm the guy who comes with the funny thumbnails. It was part of all part of the plan. <laughs> so, Johnny, I, I, like, have you not got dinged by YouTube at all? I, I guess it's like. Oh yeah. <laughs> like yeah. We got demonetized a couple times. Uh -huh. Depending, depending on which ones. The Animal I, Crossing, I'm no. Uh, you got some interesting, spicy thumbnails. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Actually, I think that's mostly for the clip channel, though, isn't it? That I've seen. Uh, the thumbnails for the clip channel have mostly been fine. The videos, for some reason, the two that I posted today, uh, Chad will be seeing this in the future, but it was the uh, Galgon ones. Um. Uh -huh. The nanny one? It was fine. Green... thing. Green dollar sign. Mm -hmm. But the other one got the yellow one. But it, it got the yellow one before I, I added the thumbnail, so... I don't know, maybe the AI detected something in the video. It, it detected the CBT. <laughs> it was less, less CPMs. Okay, more CBT <laughs> equals less CPM. <laughs> what uh, the yellow one is I don't even know how much more that affects it. Do you just get like flashlight advertisements instead when you get a yellow one? Like, I don't know. I don't it, even it know how this system works. Advertising. 
I'm not sure either, but usually it means uh, less advertising on the video. Yeah. Like, why don't they I don't, have, like, I don't, uh... Go ahead. I don't, we don't usually get the yellow one on the uh, flip channel. Oh. Surprisingly. Oh, this one. So, here's the thing. Uh, Johnny, r real quick, I'm noticing now that the levels, when you guys talk, is in the red. But I couldn't hear you very well otherwise. You were very low, so you may have to equalize the volume a little bit when this thing is done. Okay, I'm gonna take a look at that then. Yeah, sorry. I, I am just... My audio settings are weird and it's hard to figure out, so I'm gonna have to fig I'm gonna have to figure that out in the future. But, uh, yeah, you, you might want to just double-check that. If the game's audio is a little bit lower, fine, but as long as our voices are more or less equal, mine and everyone else's, that's fine. That's the, that's for the best. Yeah, okay. okay. Who got the point one on this when I played? Do you remember? Arlo. Fucking crazy that was. It was Arlo. Yeah. Got it. Point one. I don't know. I, how did Arlo That's do that? Of, did he practice? Pure luck. He probably practiced. He never played it. I think that. I, oh, I think that was the first time he played it. Yeah. yeah. Oh that was just God. pure dumb luck. It's insane and purely insane. <laughs> Man, I don't. Uh... Hmm. We're at turn eight, so you may want to start using your items. Yeah, I don't have the money for a star, though. Oh. Well. It's a bit of a problem. Once. There's a reason. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was also one frame. Pretty close. Okay. You oh my will God. fail. Fuck. Okay. How about time? I got one. No thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen anyone click on that option. I wonder that what happens. You just don't get the star. Toadette is like, you alright, bro? <laughs> yeah. Or, no, Toadette's like, alright, fine, it's ten. <laughs> like in Animal Crossing, when they try to sell you garbage, and then they lower the price down. Drake, Drake be like, I want to sell you my, um, my pajamas. They smell like, they smell like my sweat. <laughs> Only 1,000 bells for these disgusting pajamas. You're like, no, all right, 200. Did you see the, the Vinny, uh, Scoot's Vinny shrine that I posted the other day that someone made? It was like Scoot's shrine to you. Oh, yeah. Instead of you. <laughs> If you if you had fun decorating, uh, the new expansion is mostly decorating stuff. It's it's alright. Yeah, I I've actually seen it quite a bit by now. Like I've looked it up and it's cool. I might check it out in the future. Uh oh. That was a revolution. That was a revolution. Well, you got your wish. Maybe. Does the revolution also take uh, the stars? No, I don't think it does. 
Bowser Revolution! Oh my god! Bowser Revolution! <laughs> Speaking of Animal wow. Crossing, someone also brought up during Mario Party. Oh no, somebody found the Birdo thing. Okay, I'll have to post that a bit. But like, apparently Mike had something with Isabel. Like, of course Mike's streams are always, mm. you know, when you, it's like a bingo. Mike should really have a bingo with, with the stream because every time like you randomly tune in to Mike's stream, <laughs> there's something incredibly cursed being mentioned. Um, yeah. And then like, go ahead, Johnny. No, no, I'll continue. Uh, there was like, oh, okay, so some people from history watch mine, and then they brought up something about Isabel and, and ball sacks or something? <laughs> yeah, that, that sounds about right. <laughs> the, uh, I knew my, you were going to talk about that. Do you know what that was? I can't remember what it was about, but I, I misunderstood and thought that they were, thought Mike was referring to the fact that Isabel's hair, like her little like ponytail thing, looks like an upside down ball sack. And so someone drew art of that, oh. of like Isabel having hairy ball sack hair. I don't think I can oh. find it, but it's just well, you know, another example of happened. a very yeah cursed con. It, it, but like, yeah, it, it's um, that sounds about right. It's like join stream, hear the word come, check off bingo slot, and then leave. <laughs> uh. I, yeah, it happens every it, time. It, I like, I, yeah. I like, get curious. I'm like, okay, what's he talking about this time? And I tune in, and immediately, like, there's just something. It oh. do. It definitely do. I mean, I like, I'm one to talk though. I, I you join my Zelda two stream. I'm like, yeah, Pelosi. So, I think <laughs> on, on the whole, my stuff is slightly less cursed. But if you just go to the clip channel. You'd be like, oh, this dude is demented. And his editor is, is zerking all the time. <laughs> Sick people in this world, I, I swear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I use zerk tech for my allergies. Uh. Hey, they say it, it can boost your immune system. So. <laughs> my god. What, Zertech uh. or Zerk? Tech. <laughs> I said the zerk, zerking, the, zerk, the tech of the zerk. Oh my god. Zerking tech. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, Here, it, it just, we, we can't play Mario Party without it having this kind of cursed conversation. It's just not possible. Pretty sure there's another picture, but there's that one. Enjoy. Oh. Oh, no. oh okay. <laughs> I hate it. Okay. I don't like this. I can't check right mm -hmm. now. But... That's probably a good thing. Well, no one is close to that damn star. All right. Congrats. I'm starting to think I'm not going to win this. anyone's game. Yeah. Alright, let's see what this cursed image is. Oh, oh. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Well, it's good to know that Birdo has two options <laughs> upon conception. <laughs> Oh my god, how would that look? Now, now, now that one is an actual um, thrusty, as you may, as you may call it. <laughs> <sighs> There's... The, uh, normally, I, I don't like to oh, bring wait, up... Oh, wait, why do you buy another one? Normally, I don't like to bring up, like, the, you know, negative comments. But this one... Um, I, and normally, I don't even like to check them. But there was one that was so fucking funny, I have to tell you right now. It was, I think, the clip of me calling a palace Palusi. Someone uh -huh. was like, Dude, you're gonna lose all the subscribers you got from Germa if you keep talking about Thrussies. Oh, no. Oh, no. oh, oh God. Johnny, I swear I'm to God. I'm sorry. 
I swear to God, John. I'm sorry. <laughs> wow. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Wow. Well, that deflated the entirety of the story that I told, too, so... I hope you're proud. <laughs> okay, I'll let that settle a little bit. I'll let that settle. Uh, that sucks, Jackal. I'm sorry that happened to you. Also, because now I, I really believe Base is gonna win. So lucky. Okay, so so Johnny, the the person was saying that the more we use "ussy" at the end of a word, the more we would lose subscribers, and especially Germa's subscribers. Why Germa? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but I I enjoyed that comment greatly. That was really good. I wonder if it was unironically. I I don't bro, know anymore. You're lose subscriber, bro. I just don't know anymore. Oh. Well, if anything, those videos apparently do the exact opposite because people like them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, the audience is. Uh, yeah, we're all a little it, disturbed. It, <laughs> we might be, yeah. Uh, just a little bit. Or our sense of humor is just fucked. to the star. <laughs> yes, yeah. I have enough coins to actually get... Oh, um... Hmm... Let's see. Whomst, whomst is closest to... Well, I can't use that now. I have to wait. I don't, I don't think you get to choose. Yeah, it's you know, random. it's just not random. Not, not directly, yeah. I mean, truthfully, in some ways, your best... Ooh, I was going to say the chomp whistle might have been your best bet. Because that star yeah. is, is far out, man. Oh, nice. Uh-oh. Oh, it's the icy bumper oh, ball. One, yeah. <laughs> eh. I didn't. Oh, <laughs> I didn't want to touch ball. You can. You can't. Not even a single one. Oh, oh. <laughs> no! Stop double teaming me with your balls. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no! I'm staying in the middle. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! No! Uh. What? What? Ow! 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 Just you and me. Oh! Oh, oh nice. I was my own worst enemy. You, that was basically Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze right there. <laughs> but no one is near that star. Mm. Nope. Two. <laughs> it's, I, like I said, I don't. I don't. At this point, I don't really care. Yeah, sometimes it's like one or two people doing really good, and another time it's like no one doing well at all. If this map is hard to get stars on too. It, it's twisty. It's turny. It's bendy. There's a lot of stuff in it. Okay. There is a chance for me here. 
Okay. Oh. Oh, I don't think I get it. Mm -mm. No. Oh, well. That sucks. Oh, wait. Oh my god. Yep. Fuck. It's okay. Let's go, nice. Wow. No thanks. <laughs> yeah, Johnny was doing really well, like, uh, I know I haven't played this a whole lot, but the last time I was like, maybe a couple times when I was streaming this, he was like doing really well. Getting them like five or more stars. I ended up losing because of the bonus stars. Oh, Both yeah. times. Yeah, the bonus stars... We'll, we'll see. I have it on Classic, so there's three of them. And you get Koopa Bank. Oh. Wow, you lucky, oh, lucky okay. son of a bitch. <laughs> lucky son of a bitch. Yeah, give me the shower. Would you say that you, you it, it's giving you a golden shower? Yeah. Because, I mean, I you're getting a it. Wait, did I say it? I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> There's a, a Beatles song on Abbey Road called Golden Slumbers. <laughs> where Paul sings, Golden Slumbers will fill your eyes. And sometimes my mind is disgusting. And you know the rest. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can I can see that happen. <laughs> I mean, hell, didn't oh. they say they they used to thrash together? <laughs> I mean, yeah, we were in the room together. We was having a thrash. <laughs> it was late at night. Yeah, yeah, that story is so fucking weird. But it was in Playboy in the early 90s, and it was like Paul was just like, Yeah, this is normal. You know, back in the day, we were just throwing out names and then, you know, thrashing. <laughs> Fucking absolutely unbelievable. <laughs> but the lights were out, so they couldn't see th each other thrash. So as, lo as long as the <laughs> lights are out, it's okay, fine. Right? Yeah. And then you just hear, like, it's all dark, but you hear, like, the furious sound of, uh, you know, things slapping. <laughs> Someone's like, yeah, that's not what it's supposed to sound like. But, <laughs> I guess, I just remember the article when it, like, got published to the New York Post again, which is just a trash fucking newspaper anyway. They, they go for, like, comedy headlines, and uh, it just said, beat the Meatles. And I took a picture uh, yeah. of it and posted it. It was like, yeah, that was just a, a weird day. Oh my god. Yeah, you got body. a star, just barely. Mm. Was I the only one who didn't get a star that turn? I think so. <laughs> Fucking hell. Yep. <laughs> So the only- I'm doing some maths, quick maths. The only way I could win is if I tie or get more. Well, I'm not, I'm not gonna get more. But I think, base, you're gonna win the coin star. Probably. Yeah. Cheap, cheap chase. Oh, remember the names of these things. Oh, it's this one, yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Good practice. <laughs> cool. Start. 
I like the sound that Birdo makes when. No. Oh, shit. oh god! Uh. There you go. Fuck. Kong. I mean, we we lived. The Uigis lived. Yes. But we have to live with shame and embarrassment. Well, it's better than death. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's base. Hooray. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yep, yep, yep. It's not me. Cool. Nice. I don't remember winning that many mini games, but okay, I'll take it. Uh, oh oh my god, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> I love when the bonus star is just like completely jape everyone else. Mm hmm. Changes the whole thing. Is that eye supposed to be that vertical? I, I don't know. I wonder if that's a texture glitch they just left in. Yep. Wow. I'm the wiener. Yeah, what is this? You're good at Halo? You're good at Mario Party? <laughs> the, what is this? Video gamer? A real true gamer. Wow. That's, what, that's what's going to be on my gravestone. Well, time to die. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. They gave me another set at the end. Like, yeah, Luigi's gonna win. We, we've decided. The council has decided your fate. Wow. Let's see. Yeah, the details are fun. So I was the luckiest, but I still lost, so... Thanks, Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> That's just how life is. Oh. Doubt it. Cool. All right. Well, that was that was good. God, that I'm went on seething. For like, what an hour and a half? <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, almost. It's. A, I've been recording an hour and. 13 minutes, even though there's five to ten minutes cut out of that somewhere. So, um, I think, I think Dave, yeah, Dave and was Nary in interested or no? I think Nary's he, playing with Desert stop. at the moment, yeah, Mario Party or something else. Uh, Halo, yeah, pretty sure. I'm probably gonna rotate out because there's stuff that I want to do. Actually, I have to go to sleep. <laughs> oh, you have to go, okay, yeah, I have to go um, to sleep. I have work early tomorrow. Oh, that's right. Uh, I guess I could stay. Let me, like, break and... Uh, well, Dave, like, is... If we can get a hold of Dave, just... I'm gonna, I'm gonna be right back, I guess. Okay, I can, I'm I gonna pause break. the recording, and then we'll we'll figure it out in a minute. Okay, I'm gonna... Okay. All right. All right. Actually, before I pause, thanks, Base. Congrats. Thanks. Uh, first... <laughs> this is my very first game of this, and I won, so... Jesus <laughs> fucking gamer. Luck, you bad. <laughs> All right. Take care. I'll pause now. Hey. Right. Okay, round two. This time, I think I adjusted my volume a little bit. Should be a little bit better. And, um, base is gone. Dave is here. Dave, this is the second time you've played this? Uh, this will be my first time doing, like, a real game, actually. So... <laughs> not with randos? For this, for this time. I mean, I played, like, one round against a CPU, but that doesn't mean anything. Uh... Because uh, for those that don't know, Dave bought this game the night I played with Ross and Arlo. We needed another one. He was like, all right, I'll buy it, downloaded it, and then in 20 minutes was like playing a match with us. So, yeah, really, uh, you, you need to get the most out of your purchase here. Yeah. What just happened? Cool. Did it disconnect? Yep. 
Or did you hit the, accidentally hit the B button? Because that can happen too. I might have hit the B button by accident, but Toad was like the the match. Toad said a message. Oh, does someone have not have good? Uh, we'll see. Yeah, Toad said something weird, and I don't know what it was because I'm a little tired, and I just pressed the B button because Toad was like, "Press the B button, asshole." <laughs> so we'll try that again. Um, I'll create room. It's almost ready. And you can join in three, two, one. It's open. Hold on, he kicked us back to the main menu. Oh. <laughs> I kept clicking global instead of friends. And yet, it's still easier to do um, Mario Party Online than Animal Crossing Online, because Animal Crossing Online is like, Okay, are you sure you want to play online with the strangers? Okay, now, do you know this person? Okay, how do you know <laughs> let, them? Did let you me feel some papers. Now, we have to send um, a, a legality consent form to make sure that you know the person. Okay, are you a Beppy or not Beppy? Okay, now you can play. But before you can do that, we need your code. We need your lo destination, your location. Please wait through these menus and animations. Thank you. Go fuck yourself. All right, let's get started. Let's see. Ready to start? God, doing turn up stuff in, in the, that game and trying to join islands was hell. I just, like, gave up after a while. That's why, to me, the this next Animal object. Crossing, having a big interconnected, like, global community of some kind. The Animal Crossing MMO. But, you know, even if it's not totally MMO, then you can choose when and when, uh, when you don't want to be online. That would be cool for me. Do something like, well um... Like what Monster Hunter World did, where you can like actually other games have it to where you can like just open like easily open a thing like hey people can join your thing now or you e easily close it and say hey you can't have people join now something easy like that I think Rise has that too where you can just yeah. turn on a thing and people just join. When you want I would it, that would be know? great for Animal Crossing and you don't have to watch an animation and stop what you're doing and someone could just join in. Did you? Uh, I don't yeah. have a Yoshi last session. No. We didn't. I don't quite because remember we were too busy. talking about. I don't quite remember eggs, but <laughs> but was um was uh, Animal Crossing New Leaf easier to join other people online? I doubt it. Uh, what level do you guys want to do? Whatever. Um, which one is fun? Woody Woods or the cake, maybe? Yeah. Uh, make someone make a decision. <laughs> we can do it the woods. We're doing short turns, Dave. We're doing 10. But the thing is, mm -hmm. 10 took us an hour and 15 minutes or so before, so. Mm. Do, do we want to do classic bonus stars or do we do uh, just on? Which is two bonus stars at random, or classic like before. I like classic. Okay. Alright. Yeah, we were talking about how Birdo gets eggs to shoot at Mario, and how Yoshi basically felches them into Birdo. So don't worry about mm. it. Yeah, mm. we, it was disgusting, cursed conversation. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. What That's else is new? But just, but just in case you need the details, you can feel free to ask. No, no, I'm, I'm all set. Thank you. You saw the anatomy <laughs> pictures. I saw the pictures. <laughs> <laughs> you were okay in the channel. <laughs> oh, God. I only needed to see the pictures. I'm good. <laughs>
Toad's kind of like a little human butt plug. What's up? Who said that? What? Oh, nothing. I, I was just going to say there can't possibly be anything cursed with this cast of characters, I would I would think. No. Maybe with Yoshi, but... Yoshi's uh, already, we've seen some cursed imagery. I think just Toad being shaped like a butt plug, I think I kind of ruined that whole innocent veneer that, you know, you were looking for, perhaps. I like how Dong has this, um... Uh, yeah, l l let me ruin it. Dong looks like he's getting good head constantly with that face. <laughs> like, he's just got a... I'm a sorry, what? Like, this oh. very turned-on face. Like, like, uh, Donkey Kong? Just... Yeah. Who's Daisy? Press smiles. the button. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm right, too busy you talking about Donkey Kong. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. He's got that face when he his eyes look up. There, there's that face from Smash Brothers, like the King K. Rule reveal, that turned oh, into a meme. Thing. Yeah, that one I like a lot. Why is that a thing? Johnny just posted. Uh... I'm trying to ignore that toad. Yoshi shows his butt. It's time for Waluigi. Okay, fourteen until star. Ten. That's. Two tens I've rolled so far. Oh. Nice. Oh, no. Now we know why Yoshi's here. <laughs> oh no. Well, that's what started the whole like Birdo thing in the first place. I'm not gonna explain that again. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I hit the event space, which means that my ah oh, fuck. Dave, doesn't he look like he's holding on to something from the front? <laughs> well, Dave is too busy. I think we know who's gonna win the sticker star. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it ain't a party unless Yoshi's there. This ain't no party, this ain't no disco. Wow. Yes, night's perfect. <laughs> Did any of you ever play Dokapon Kingdom on the Wii? I don't even know what I've that is. Doesn't even sound familiar. Wasn't it like a um wasn't it like a board game? Mm -hmm. It's basically yeah. it's this as a board game RPG where games could last days or even weeks. Oh, Jesus. Oh my God. Which truthfully is I think a strength and but also it's a weakness because I'm all for the idea of a really long RPG board game, and it was a really cool game. I seriously, I love that game, but God, it got so aimless and boring. I just ended up abandoning games at, by, by the end of it. It just felt like the end was never in sight. I would love to see that concept tried again. Oh God damn it, Daisy! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! There was another uh, Mario Party kind of like game, but but on PC. It was pretty fun. I played it with some friends. It's called um, Pommel Party. Um, what was it called? It's pretty Pommel Party. Oh, Pommel like it, 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 Yeah, it's pretty fun. The 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 characters kind of look like uh uh, what's the name of that game? Real Battle Simulator, I think it's called. Oh yeah. The, the characters kind of look like that like one. Bobbly. Yeah, yeah. Solid the colors. characters look like that, and uh, and the maps are cool. The mini games are fun, and, and he ha and he has. It's kind of like a little bit more bloody, in the sense that when characters get punched, they they smear blood all over the place. It's fun. That's interesting. I'd look that up maybe. <laughs> okay. Oh. Wow. The instant that death. Was... <laughs> I like I the remember Windows there, there, background 
looking field. <laughs> What's up? There is a cool Halloween map where uh, the map gimmick is there is a killer that is following people around and you have to escape him because if he gets you, I think he, he steals your stars or something or the, equi the equivalent of stars in that game. Oh, okay. Oh, this accidentally worked out great for- Fuck! <laughs> yeah, I spent a week playing Pummel Party with a bunch of my friends. It's a really good time. Oh, you played it, Dave? Oh yeah, a whole bunch. It's good. Elisa 2, please. Okay. You can't afford oh, it. Oh, I don't even have. <laughs> yeah, I can't, I can't even afford it. Never mind. Oh, you're too poor. Get out of here. Oh, why did I spend the item then? It's, it's, yeah. It's kind of easy to just rely on instinct to just get star without thinking. I know the grass is just a flat texture, but... It, it looks really good. I like oh, the yeah. way a lot of the stuff in like the the recent like Mario games, and even with Link, not Link to the Past. What was the recent, Link's Awakening? Um, yeah, where they have that like very toy. It, it's hard to describe, but they almost look like they have like a toy look to them. Um, yeah, Link's Awakening was especially like it's like you're looking over like a diorama of like um like toys in a. A thing that you can interact with and run around with like a little like character and yeah i some people didn't like that art style that the toy look but i thought it was actually really cool i think as an art style it works with a little bit of like revision it would be amazing See, the I only problem i think that game had uh visually was that uh this the limitation of the switch yeah. And, and some insane vignette blur that they put into that game. What? Yeah, there is a weird vignette. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, Jackley, you just got yourself a star. By rolling double numbers. Wow. Huh. I don't think I've ever seen that happen quite like that before. It's interesting too because uh, I remember in an interview Nintendo said that like when they when it comes to like game development, especially these days, like uh, for a lot of Switch games, they like to hire people who work on toys, like for the games, because I think it like helps them create. Like they they like coming up with new ideas. Like they're big on like gimmicks and stuff, and um, they tend to hire people who work on like toys and mechanisms when it comes to game development, which I thought was interesting. Yeah, and it, it makes sense why there's always mechanically something new that they're trying to explore in a video game. Oh, I think sometimes it might hurt them too. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mean, yeah. Oh. That philosophy makes sense given their background. Yeah, these uh, toys. Start as a yeah, car and maker actually. And, and Gunpei Yokoi, he was a toy maker before starting to make consoles until he left. But that idea of making toys also made him make the virtual boy. Oh, yeah. It was just, it's funny because the virtual boy was just 25 years before its time. Like the idea was sound or ahead of its time, I'm not sure. but. The fresh the expression is, but yeah, now virtual reality is definitely more of a thing, and people want to pursue it. I mean, Nintendo even did their own cardboard thing recently. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Start. Yeah, I was having this conversation with a bunch of other people recently. Um, it's unfortunate that, you know, a lot of VR stuff is so, it's still so expensive because, I mean, there's so many, like, uh, when it comes to, like, because I was talking about tracking, like body tracking, and uh, people are coming up with so many, like, DIY ways to do um, body tracking, like, stuff even, there's, like, even a thing where you can put a QR code on a piece of paper and, like, have a thing, like, 
viewing the QR code, you can use that for body tracking for VR, and it's like... Jack Jackal, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but oh. we gotta choose... Oh, no, no, I'm, no, no, I'm sorry. No, I'm not gonna let you. I'm gonna talk over you. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Oh, oh yes! God. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> no, I was hitting buttons. <laughs> I press I, I press A. I don't know why it didn't win there. What the? Okay, sorry for interrupting you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it, that's the gist of it, though. There's so many different DIY ways people are coming up with the tracking for VR because people want to be able to do stuff in VR and use VR, but like uh, the official stuff is still, you know, expensive. Expensive you know? yeah. and, and heavy. The, yes, with the index, yeah. And you the index the is index not probably. uncomfortable. I don't find the index uncomfortable. It's just when you're in there for hours, you notice it. Yeah. Um, what's I gonna say? I believe I forgot. <laughs> it, it's not. It's not even. It's not even a gamer PC expensive. It's double expensive because there's there's a headset, and and then there is. You need a computer, a good computer for, for you need a to good run that CPU, headset. Specifically, GPU, mm, so, CPU is more. Really? Yeah, it's more CPU. Well, it actually, depends on what you're running. A lot of things are actually uh, that are VR are more CPU intensive. So. Hmm. But I mean, GPU, a good, a decent. Like I, I do well with a 1070 still like for a while um that that gpu is my only bottleneck on my computer when everything I, else is quite good when i upgraded when i got the 30 80 from the 2070 i thought like the frames were gonna go way way up and while it helped on a couple games it didn't not like massively it, the games themselves were crusty like it's yeah the optimization on blade and sorcery was pretty bad at the time and they fixed a lot of that recently, but when you when you start looking at your like specs, it's important to note that some games are just gonna run like shit no matter what. But yeah, VR you have to double the output. So you you yeah, CPU and it's a yeah, combination of the two for sure. And then if you're like yeah, nice. sending it to your computer okay. For streamer mode, for like smooth streamer mode, that's even more processing. And then capturing it. So yeah, VR can be pretty fucking uh, intensive. Yeah, optimization seems to be a really big issue, even with like indie games. Cause I was, um, there was like a first person shooter, um, like a, like a Lovecraft thing that I played, uh, in recent. And then, I mean, it just, it, it was, um, it like melted. It just, yeah. it caused my computer to freeze while I was streaming it. And it's like, it shouldn't have been doing that. I had the right specs for it, but. And they're like resource hogs. Hog. Even if you have like the right stuff. Start. <laughs> I never get this because you have to time, everyone has to like time their um, smashes. Wait, really? I, I always thought this mini game just kind of sucked. To... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was told, like, if you you smash at the same time as the other people, like, you can make it go faster. But, I don't know. I thought you had to just have it rain where Petey Piranha was. I don't know. This one kind of, kind of blows. Like, you didn't make any mistakes, right, Dave? Right. Yeah, so. I think it's one of those where if you don't make a mistake, you win, that's it. That's what I thought, too. I'm not, I'm not sure, but... There's a couple, to me, there's a couple stinkers. There's definitely a couple stinkers, but mostly the minigame selection here is, I'd say, phenomenal. 
Because every now and then there's a little something that's a little bit, you know. It's time for Waluigi. Hmm. What? The what? arrow was pointing the other way. Fuuuuck! Figured that I went to the star. Nani! Nan, nan, nan. Check the ball. ball. I don't know. I'm not even sure what. <laughs> change the arrows if you want, Monty Mole. Oh, God. Sorry, I just looked in a uh, Nary post or something. <laughs> Good old oh, speaking, spoon head. Let's see. Speaking of Star Trek, I I haven't finished TNG yet, but I think I'm one of the last seasons, six or seven. Mm -hmm. I think my 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 most recent episode, all, all of the newest episodes, uh, the latest episodes I've seen, have been amazing. From the latest seasons, one of what one of them was um, where uh, Lore appears again. Let me see. Let me remember. Oh yeah, I'm on season seven. Okay. Yeah. Well, seven has some, you know, not some. There's some weird episodes. There's the episode where. Um, Crusher, Beverly Crusher has a relationship with a Scottish ghost who oh God, also, I, seen that like, I think, seduced her grandmother. It, uh, it's good. Definitely, you'll enjoy that. I love that episode. Sub Rosa. Johnny, have you, have you seen the episode where they all turn into, like, animals and, like, um, uh, yeah, it, uh, sorry, my brain is yam. Um, Never mind. <laughs> is this the, the the horror episode, Jackal? I Where Riker Arrow turns into like a it beast was... man. Yeah, and then Warp becomes like a, a an arachnid, mm -hmm. and then um, Crusher no, turns into an orangutan. Like, no, do, you, do you remember that? That's season no, seven. No, no. Oh no. god, yeah. You got you got all your people mixed up. Riker turns into the orangutan. I'm pretty sure. No, and... Riker becomes like this this horny beast man. I but I remember that. Worf becomes a giant beast guy, and the spider he... is uh, uh, Barkley. No, no, the <laughs> Barkley. What did Barkley turn into? I thought I thought Worf became the arachnid because his like his race actually has like arachnids. Like, there's an evolution thing with the the. The Klingons, but that kind of like explained it because they're supposed to be devolving into like, um, yeah, it's 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 something. One it's thing, thing we can all agree on is that Riker turns into a beast. Yes, he does become a beast. <laughs> Speaking of Riker, uh, Second Chances was pretty fucking good. Where there is another oh, Riker. The episode where there's uh, another yes. Riker. Thomas. Yeah. yeah, that one is pretty good. I like that, that, that one carries a lot. over into Deep Space Nine. That episode, really? Yeah. yeah. Uh, what's the other one? I was gonna say I just remembered that's also the episode where Deanna Troy becomes an amphibian. <laughs> so it's it's all weird. Yeah. It's not as good as Janeway and Tom Paris becoming lizards and having lizard children, yes. but it's close. <laughs> Gambit was also pretty good. Yeah, Gambit is, is good. The nurse, now that I think about it, who becomes the monkey. Wasn't it? Nurse Ogawa? It was perfect. Yeah. I don't know. I give up Let trying to remember find out what that episode was. I like how we all have oh, like well, weird, this. conflicting memories of this one episode. But... <laughs> <laughs> and it's not even like one of the best ones. It's just fun. It's like dumb and stupid and fun. I think for, for me it's more memorable because it's a bad one. <laughs> I would say there's there's worse by a long shot, yes. but it's not great. Sure. I think Masks sucks. 
yeah. where Brent Spiner has to play like five different people and he does like these silly voices and, and he has to try to like apparently him and Patrick Stewart could not stop laughing on the day of the shoot <laughs> <laughs> Just season seven, the writing was stretched too thin. They were starting Voyager. Uh, Deep Space Nine was already in production, and I just feel like they, they kind of semi-abandoned, and they were focused on the movies for TNG after that. So uh, I'm close to finishing TNG. What What's the next thing I should watch? Deep Space Nine is probably the best Star Trek outside of TNG. In my... It, I always say TNG is my favorite, but Deep Space Nine may be better. For some reason, I started thinking in the middle of that match that I was Waluigi. Uh, yeah. It's sick, bro. <laughs> I don't think. Are we really paying attention to that? Because like, I'm not really. I'm thinking too much of like other stuff that happens when I'm playing yeah. this too. Well, I'm also <laughs> I'm tired, but yeah, that was a, a pretty unfortunate mini game. So what, when should I should when should I watch the movies after after I'm done with TNG? Uh, oh, at some point the in movies between, are, are uh, not good, Johnny. Are not good. Oh, okay. They it, it, but they have good moments at least. They have good right? moments. Um, you can watch them after you're done with the show. All right, Jackal, we're gonna pay attention now. So it's Voyager or uh, TNG. Watch that I Deep watch? Space Nine. Uh, Deep Space Nine, okay. Yeah, definitely. It's and great. After, after Deep Space Nine, then Voyager, right? If you want. <laughs> if I want. Okay. Yeah, it's closest okay. in tone oh, to TNG. Okay. Voyager or Deep Space Nine? T uh, Voyager. Deep Space Nine has its moments that are like TNG, but it's darker. And it's more mm. political intrigue. And it's amazing. Great characters. Maybe better than TNG, but like I said, the movies for TNG, let's just say this, the ending of TNG is perfect. And then the movies come and kind of undo some of that goodwill. Oh, God. You can actually, oh, some of these don't have walls. Um, honestly, uh, the political stuff and, and the world building in, in, in Star Trek is good. When, when it's good, but I enjoy way more the interaction between the characters. Then you'll love Deep Space Nine. Because Great. it's always good, and the interactions are fantastic. Amazing. It's, it's yeah. kind of a shame that that it didn't get the, the HD treatment where they practically re-edited everything, like for TNG. And that's why it didn't, because ratings-wise, Deep Space Nine was never on the same level as, as TNG. It, uh, it always kind of trailed behind. The same for Voyager. Shame. Like, they just did not do as well in the ratings. And I guess they feel like the cost outweighs the benefit. Because they actually do have to re-edit the entire show from the negatives. Yeah. And in some cases, redo the special effects. Here's mm. the thing, though. Deep Space Nine actually has CG like a lot of CG, and they'd have to redo that CG because it was output for TV resolution. They don't have the raw file of that CG for um, widescreen. So, so I'm in trouble trying to get ahead. The most, <laughs> I can't believe we're talking about the, the nerdiest, like the nerdiest possible way to discuss Star Trek, but I'll, I'll tell you something kind of interesting. People have looked into AI upscaling it, and I've seen a couple videos where they basically double the resolution of Deep Space Nine and sharpen it up, and it looks pretty good. Y you know, mm -hmm. you're never going to get widescreen, like, full HD, but TNG's not even widescreen. Mm -hmm. um, but it, it looks... That, to me, makes more sense. If they can develop a good algorithm, then I think the potential for an AI upscale of Deep Space Nine and Voyager would be fantastic or at least yeah and it's, and it's and it's definitely easier than just re-editing everything mm -hmm. at first at first i thought it was because since it was made for tv uh sometimes it would record in digital they would never go for film and that's why i thought that the why tng had the hd treatment and the others didn't because they probably didn't do film but they did it yep 
Yeah, it's, that it's just was... that they just have to redo everything. They did, but also they figured it would be worth it because TNG is <sighs> basically considered to be, you know, the, the flagship of Star Trek these days. And it was worth it because now the show is still talked about. It's still watched. It went to all the streaming services. It looks like it was filmed within the past 10 years. Mm. So it, it was really worth it. And then you could sell them DVDs. You sell merch, word of mouth. It was a worthwhile project for them. Definitely. Oh god, that episode where- Yeah, the there's way. Troy as an amphibian. <laughs> oh. Marina Sirius <laughs> looks awful with that makeup on. That's such a- oh. that, uh, that poor I, I, woman. I'm, I'm, I'm glad they put her- they put her back in- uh, they put her into a uniform. I, I never liked that other outfit at first. Yeah, that was just pure sleaze, truthfully. Yeah. Like, there's no need for it. But I'm glad Jellico was like, In my bridge, you will wear a standard uniform. Is that clear? <laughs> Thank God. Wow, I have no... I have barely any money to get this. Ah. So, oh, we'll see what well, happens. You have two stars, so you're still winning. This is another tough map to get stars on. Oh, wow, look at those numbers. Holy shit. Wow. Yeah, that, that'll take you to the star, even if you can't get it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for your cooperation. Wow, <laughs> wow cool. <laughs> that was a <amazing. laughs> Actually, that was your best bet. It'll give you... Look at this! That's how good of a bet it was. Oh my god. Uh. Okay. 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 <laughs> what what episode was it that Deanna Troy was a cake? You being slight? Was that somebody's dream that was, in an episode? Yeah. That was another weird one. Well, I think <laughs> Data was dreaming. He was okay. His, he was programmed to have dreams, and it like activated late. And yeah, he dreamed that she was a cake. It's so fucking weird. <laughs> I haven't seen that one yet. Some but yeah, it's a really good one. Of, like, uh, Date, Data's episodes Goblins usually are the best ones. Here's a fun... I love that. Yeah? Oh, go ahead. Well, I was just gonna say, uh, Patrick Stewart directed some episodes of Star Trek, and he always wanted to direct the ones that were focused around Data. Because A, he loved Brent Spiner's acting, and B, I think he felt he was suit suited well for the material when it was focused on data. And he was, truthfully. He did some good episodes. He directed some good ones. The best cast director was uh, Jonathan Frakes, though. And he got to direct two of the movies. And also, LeVar Burton was a very good director. And he uh, got to direct some Voyager in Deep Space Nine, if I'm not mistaken. And Enterprise. I, I don't know if he was on DS9, LeVar Burton. But yeah, he, he directed a bunch of episodes. He's also great. Oh, LeVar Burton is just, yeah, he's just fantastic. And again, Jordy is one of, the, one of the more relatable characters in that universe. I, I really like... He's, like, brilliant, but he's also kind of, like, lame. And I just, yeah, I I just like yeah. LeVar Burton has so much charisma. That's why the Star oh, Trek card oh, shit item. doesn't work. Because... It was like trying to make it so that Picard and Data had the special connection, but it was Lavar. It was uh, Jordy and Data. Anyway, look, mm -hmm. this is turning into Star Trek. Mario Party yeah. Star Trek. <laughs> I think my favorite um, episodes of Jordy involved like the holodeck stuff when he like kind of. I mean, it got kind of weird, but he like um, got interested in the one. I, yeah. He falls um, in love with, with the like, creator of the, the thing. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't know what was going on. I was hitting my sticker button. What did you do? <laughs> you deserve it, an item. I just threw out my key. <laughs> I didn't know I was going to throw Bro, something away. Truthfully, the, the key kind of isn't amazing. I needed that. That was my current setup to go get the star. Oh, God. Oh. In, um... Uh... In season seven, there was this episode where Picard and Riker are not on the Enterprise, so now Data is in command. 
Well. And and Worf is uh, the second in command, and they have a really amazing moment when Worf is all the time questioning what Data is doing. He doesn't like what Data is doing, and then Data is like, "Hey, let's come talk. Let's go talk to the bridge." And and Data tells to him, "Hey, you cannot be saying that shit in front of the crew." You cannot be questioning my decisions like that, it's, it's not appropriate. And they have a really nice moment when it gets a little intense. Yeah. But then after that, they, they are like, uh, Worf is like, uh, I wish to remain sir, your I friend. Would... Yeah. Yeah. I hope we can forget this and I wish we can remain friends. And I was like, ah, that's a great moment. I fucking loved it. I am sorry if I've ended our friendship. Sir. It is I who has jeopardized our friendship, not you. If you will overlook this incident, I would like to continue to consider you my friend. I would like that as well. <laughs> yeah, that was a great moment. <laughs> Sorry, I just I sneezed like five times in a row while you were talking, Johnny, and I muted. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It's okay. But no, I love that moment. I, I That's the thing about the character moments that makes TNG so great. That's why I recommend yeah. people suffer through the early seasons and, and just try to enjoy like the character interactions. But Deep Space Nine yeah, is also good for that, so yeah. Before we, before I started watching it, I remember asking you guys, and you recommended no I'll skip to season two. Don't don't watch season one, but I I put through with it, and I think it was worth it. Yeah, I my think friend it was Tyler worth. is doing the same thing. He's watching. He's he's on season three, but he he started with one and two, and he was like, no, there's some decent episodes. He's like, I'm able to contextualize when it was made. And if you can do that, it's not too bad. Yeah. Um, in regards to DS Nine, is, is it does it does it also have some stinky moments? Oh, yeah. at the beginning, it's maybe pretty, early on, it's it's stinky, but it's not as I don't think it a is as much. But it hits its stride season two and three, like TNG. But it, it definitely oh. is stronger earlier. It also, Holy has a shit. lot of TNG cameos. Great, I'm excited then. Yeah, that, that's... Ask Sphinx next time, you know, if you ever... If we're ever in a thing with him. He loves Steve Space Nine. How does Sphinx have enough, t like, Star Trek-related content? Sorry, Jacko. He keeps streaming, like, oh, God. He keeps streaming Whoa! Star Trek content. Because, <laughs> like, every he time streaming. he's streaming, he, like... He's streaming episodes of, like, Deep Space Nine again. I guess ones that he missed. Oh, okay. No, it's the whole thing. He's just doing the whole thing again. Excuse me? Okay. Yeah, we've been watching the whole <laughs> series all over again. Yeah. What the fuck? No. Wow. Uh, Sphinx is like... Well, that's a fan. Though I will say, he reminds me of the people that say, what, what happens when you finish watching The Office? You start The Office again. <laughs> I wonder if Jim no, will get with Pamp. Oh! <laughs> so close. Yeah, this is actually my uh, first time watching it from start to end. So I'm actually really glad that he's doing it. What season are you guys on? Four now. I didn't. It was last year that he started DS9, right? I think so, yeah. Yeah, then he went through Voyager. Then he went to. It might have OG. been the year before, actually. <laughs> then he went through TNG. I catch some episodes. Then he, they went past me, and then I was like, oh, okay, I'm not gonna continue watching it with them because they go way too fast for me. Yeah, they go fast and end up late. Is this just yeah. his life now? Just so streaming Star Trek. Yeah, yeah I guess so. <laughs> well, last well, night uh, we were watching The Magician. Yeah, oh, is he that does, what it was? He does movie yeah. nights. It, the wizard, not the magician. Oh, uh, the wizard, Because I, like, sorry. rated him, and I kind of expected him to be showing Star Trek, but then when I checked the channel at the rating, he was showing... I was like, wait, this is... Wait, the Trek? NES game? With Fred Savage? Yeah. Uh, movie, rather? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That one. I, I had never seen that movie. 
It's 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 <clears throat> uh It's eighties. It, it's an it's advertisement. 80s, yeah. We enjoyed the advertisements. It, it was, it was like kind of like charming seeing all the the references, the silly references, advertisements to their games. And I was like, okay, that's okay. Do, no. Do you guys have like a, a comfort '80s movie that you guys really like? Like, I don't know, like any well-known ones, but '80s. No. Like a, have like you a heard guilt, of a movie like a with Harrison movie. Ford? Called Indiana Bl Indiana Runner uh, Strikes Back. <laughs> um, oh fuck no, you! Tell, tell me about it, Bowser. Fuck you! Oh, I, ha I have not. Tell me about it. What is it about, Johnny? I need to s soak in in the the pit the the misery. <laughs> I'll tell you about it. Okay, now I can tell you about it. Well. Harrison Ford plays a dude that hunts bad guys, punches, uh -huh. sometimes he shoots. That, that's... yep. How about, how about this? A, a movie that's not sci-fi and... How about, like, a very 80s movie? Like, like, um... Oh, Over the top. That, that's not... It's uh, Stallone. Yeah. Arm wrestling movie. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. There we go. Uh, the most 80s movie that I like is Hackers. Okay. That's a 90s that, movie. Yeah, but it's a very 80s movie. <laughs> <laughs> All is right. Ferris Bueller 80s or 90s? I can't remember, because that's my favorite. Which one? Ferris Bueller. Oh, yeah, that's 80s. Yeah, that's that was... Okay, I love that movie. I love that movie, too. I, you know, I... When I was a kid, I watched that movie constantly. I thought that's just what life was like. <laughs> I thought that that's what everything was like when you got older. So, mm -hmm. yeah. I didn't also understand that I didn't live where Ferris lived. Was he in California or something? It looks like California. Oh, Chicago? Chicago. They Four. go to the Wrigley State, uh, Ch Cubs. Wait, what? I don't know where they go. Some fucking stadium. But, <clears throat> yeah, it was Chicago. For me, it would have to be, um,. Police story, the Jack Chan one. Oh yeah, I fucking love his movies. That's a famous series of movies from him. He's he say this shit is good. I mean, any John Hughes also movie. Fun. Um, but I mean, considering we just watched Dune, that's I mean that's sci-fi, but that's a pretty fucking eighties movie. Here's one: um, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles with Steve Martin and John oh. Candy. Love that movie. Yeah. Actually, a lot of John Candy movies, and um, who's the other one I keep mix mixing up with him? Uncle Buck. Yeah, some uh, it, not uh. The Goodman. What is his name? The other, the other heavy, heavy. Oh my God. Oh, John Goodman. Said, John um, Goodman. Not John Goodman. Um, okay. the, the one that plays that's friends with David Spade. Why? Why am I mixing Farley. his name? Chris he was Farley. In, yes, Farley. Yes. Yeah. Farley movies. Yeah. Um. A couple more that I want to mention from the 80s that aren't specifically, like, sci-fi. I love Beetlejuice. I really do oh, love that yeah. movie. Um, I also really love Full Metal Jacket, which is Kubrick's 80s movie. And, um... There was one more. The Vacation movie, uh, with Chevy Chase. National Lampoon? Yeah. Actually, a lot of Chevy Chase movies. Oh my God. Um, there was a lot of them that were like National Lampoons, this or that. There was a bunch of those. There's this mini game's bullshit. It is so skewed <laughs> towards <laughs> the one player. I wasn't even paying attention, honestly. Yeah, it's um the European vacation. There's Christmas, something was it vacation, or just Christmas movie? But no, the, those movies were uh, they're like comfort food for me. There's another movie that's sort of horror themed that I really like, and I I can't remember. It's got a. I wonder if I can I find the name of the actor that's in it. Um, it's called like the House or something. Um, I'm pretty sure it was in the 80s. It was like the this house had like um different like 
Aryans in it? Like, like it had a, like a Jurassic People under the area stairs. in it. And not that, but I do love that movie. Um, God, who was the actor that was in it? I'm trying to think, like... No, it was the guy that was in City Slickers. That's a good movie Billy Crystal? as well. Um, yes. Uh, so it's like, uh, it was something related to the ha uh, house that Billy Crystal was in. Um... What the fuck was it? Because that one was a good one. And, and his, like, uh, grandfather, like, it, it is revived as, like, a, he's like a zombie cowboy. It, it's a strange. That, oh, well, that's weird. No, I don't know. I don't know. Let me see if I can find it. I almost was going to say Weekend at Bernie's, like a dumbass, but that, definitely not that. Maybe I'm mistaking the movie. Oh, God damn it, Johnny. They, yeah. 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 Yep. Fucking Bowser stole my star. <laughs> Bowser's a penis. You got a star. Confirmed. Also, Eddie Murphy movies. I just love 80s Eddie Murphy. Uh, Golden Child. Plays the guy from Africa that goes to New York. Coming to America. Yes, that's a good one. Yeah, he just- dude, he was like, hit after hit after hit. Some stinkers, but... Um, 80s Eddie Murphy was... just fantastic. Beverly Hills I just, Cop. I just remember, again, this movie that I saw as a- that I saw as a kid. Um... Oh my god. Nice. Yeah. Uh, that I saw as a kid, it, it, it is a schlocky... It's, it's not even horror, but it, it's there is vampires and stuff. I don't remember exactly how the plot goes. There's this family that arrives at some kind of bar, and there are from um, dusk till dawn. Biker, yeah, that one from dusk till dawn. Quentin Tarantino so, sucking yeah, Selma yeah, Hayek's yeah. foot, right? <laughs> I figured out the movie that I was it's, thinking of. It's it's so it's a, schlocky. It I, is. It's I, a shitpost I, I, movie, and the genre yeah. changes from crime to vampire movie halfway through. It's- it shouldn't work, and it kind of almost doesn't, but it, it's just so fun to watch, yeah. Fucking, uh, Tom Savini is in it, who pl is the guy who does special effects for a lot of famous movies, like Dawn of the Dead. And he's got a cock pistol. I was gonna mention that. I was gonna mention that, yeah. Uh... I, yeah. I, I, okay. I was I, I couldn't remember this movie like a couple months ago when I was talking with some friends and then I looked it up and I saw some clips and I was like holy shit what is this movie yeah. and then I saw Quentin Tarantino in, in it and I and I was like holy shit he's even in this yep oh unbelievable Just watch, watched it again recently but what's up Jackal oh yeah I found the I found the movie that I was talking about because it had like a little um it's called House Two uh let's see who's in it. <laughs> I remember it specifically because gonna... there's like a Jurassic area in it. There's like a zombie cowboy, a Jurassic area, and like a dog caterpillar thing. I wonder who was in it. It's a really weird movie. House 2. I've never even heard of it. But then again, House... I haven't heard of many movies. Oh shit, yeah, sorry. I'm like... <laughs> I'm gonna have to watch that movie again, holy shit. Dust Till Dawn? I watched it again yeah, we, recently. We, yeah, it was good. Well, I say good. It's, we, it's kind of bad. It's bad. The, the, the second part, the second part of this of, of the uh, of the video has turned into a movie Star Trek podcast. I may yeah. need to. I may, I, may, I may need to insert some of the scenes we're talking about so people can watch them, <laughs> like real clips, real quick. <laughs> If, if that's the kind of effort you want to do, I'm not going to stop you. <laughs> I, I, I can do it. I, I can put a little bit of effort into that. It could be fun. Not too much, or else... Yeah, well... Yeah, that's a given. Conky Dunk. I think Vinny got it. I did get one golden one, yeah. So did I, but I think you got more normal. Yeah. 
Oh, we're tied. Oh, oh, you won! Wow, Jesus! Wow, Winner. that was unexpected. I needed them kerns. Mmm. I don't. Oh my god! I, I need more. I don't need them at all. Okay, I have an opportunity. I think three of us have an opportunity right now. Yeah. Time for a while, we Fuck it, I'm just gonna use my golden pipe. I don't know if I'll get this chance again. Or, you know, maybe Bowser can just fucking steal it from me. It happened all in one turn, too. Got Golden Pipe previous turn, spent 25 coins on, on that, bought the star for 20 coins, got the star, landed on Bowser's spot, lost star. Out 45 <laughs> coins. <laughs> That's not too far. Does the star ever show up at the top of the board? Because it feels like that whole area is very rarely this, this match. <laughs> it hasn't appeared over there. No. You can force a hidden block for 40 coins, huh? Coin, please. Coin. Yes. Is this another we're just doing okay matches? Because <laughs> there hasn't really been any like brutal star ceiling or anything like that. Yeah, it's also there's no boo on this map, so we're. Oh you know, yeah. It's not, I not think too bad. One up top. Oh, there like is. Gotta, a boo oh. There might be. I feel like you got to play at least fifteen turns to get the real nasty shit to come out. But those fifteen turns, it says. Approximately 45 minutes. It's never yeah, 45 long. minutes. Yeah, it's... I bet almost two hour... Um, one round... Matches and... Uh, am I about to party, say so. hello to Bowser? Uh... That would be bad. Hmm. Oh, hey, shit, she went up there, now. finally! <laughs> no one's up there. Oh, I just missed it. Okay, good. <laughs> I swear to God, if that's a star. Uh oh. <laughs> you never played that weird, um. I don't know why you would, but there's a mod for Mario 64 that's just Daisy. I think I have. I don't think you ever got to it. Oh shit, what did I do? Oh. <laughs> so big attention. Oh. It's all, it's late for all of us. It's only like 9.30 for me. Oh, never mind. It's not so still. late for you guys. It's for me, this is now close to like bed. And I was out yesterday. Well, like, I, I, yeah, I was out for a while. I think it's more because of how long these turns take. Plunder chest. Steal an item from opponent of your choice. Ooh. Wow. Do I want to do that? <laughs> Probably shouldn't have done that, but that's okay. <laughs> hmm. What else I gotta say? Oh yeah, because of the these rounds take so long, my 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 ADHD is like, let me think about a bunch of different things that have nothing to do with this game mm -hmm. while it's going on, so I'm not like paying attention. Literally every time I've played this, it's turned into some form of podcast. But I do <laughs> enjoy the actual like Mario partying. It's just like fun to talk about random shit. I like, I like this any, one. Yeah. Anytime you're playing any game with your friends, it turns into a podcast for some reason. <laughs> yeah, we were playing Halo the other day, and it, it was just podcasts whenever we recorded it. Uh. Speaking of, I think Ross is getting into Halo now. Ross is on tour. Well, no, he's on Thanksgiving break right now. Oh, he is? Oh, okay. Yeah, he starts up again in a few days. He was asking who... who 
who plays Halo. I got a message probably, him. Probably to play with him. Yeah. Oh my god, me first. Damn it. Start. How do you increase the power on the cell? I was a pick Up and down. Oh, okay. Yeah, you usually don't want to go first. So then you can okay, learn that's from your... not uh, too bad. You can learn from your uh, opponent's mistakes. Oh my god. Wow. Well, I, I felt like that was going to happen, too. <laughs> yeah, I got it pretty close. So. I want to play Mario Golf again. <laughs> <laughs> well, there is a new update coming coming out soon. That's yeah, two new levels, new skills. game mode, new character, two new characters. They finally finished the game. <laughs> How many months later? Like uh, half a year four, later, five almost. Months? Yeah. Still, I didn't think the game lacked. Too much content. It just there are some questionable game modes in my in my opinion. But other than that, like yeah, it had less levels. I complained about that, but I still got like a pretty decent experience out of it. It's nice that we got all that extra stuff though for free. So one day I'll probably return to it, do a little bit of uh, golf, because I do get into the mood of uh, the Mario Golf mood once in a while. Huh, it, it doesn't give you the option to get items. No, not on the last turn. turn. Okay, that's... thoughtful. Oh, you have the... the oh, fuck, I forgot. Your next yeah, star is 10. Price. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to. Shit. It still is kind of anyone's game, but... Damn. I don't think I've won as many minigames as the last time, though. So I won't... I probably would not get the minigame star. If I had to guess, I'm not gonna get any star. Any bonus star. Oh, we'll see. I like that little Galumba playing with the apple. That's, that's good. Last five coins sucked away by Koopa Bank. Okay. Pity Ted. It's not gonna help me on tiebreaker against you guys. Mario Party Cursed Content and Star Trek Edition. Ah, <laughs> uh, what do I even do here? Where am I at? Oh, there uh, I would think this. It feels like it was a waste to get that plunder chest too. So. Yeah. You. What does it do? Still, an item from someone else. Oh, an item, and not like a star. Yeah. Okay. No. Yeah. I guess what you could have done was stolen the whistle and hope that it appeared near you. I don't know. Yeah. Do you get to use the item I right as twice in a row? I don't know. I don't know. Probably not. Oh, this is a mini game in Yakuza. I can do this. <laughs> I, have, I, I might have played this version of it, but I, I used to be pretty good at this. At least I thought I was. You know when you're pretty good against like one of your dopey friends and you think you're the best in the world? That was me <laughs> on the N64. One of your daffy pals. 
And then, like, it's such a fucking eye-opener when you play online, like in Smash Brothers or Mario Party, and you just get wrecked. <laughs> Wow. Everyone. Oh. So close. Yeah. I did very bad at that. And then you find out that the actual record's 30 seconds. And Summoning Salt <laughs> makes Slot Car Derby world record video 45 minutes long. People eking out 0 0.01 seconds. Wait, this one's gonna be yours, Vinny. Yeah. What was that one? Minigame? Stars. Oh, st wait, what? Er, I'm sorry. Coins? Coins. Oh. Coins. Coin. Like Wayne Coin from the Flaming Lips. Vinny again? Yeah. Oh, okay. And no. Yoshi. No, but Vinny already got, what, four stars? I am Three. currently at four now. Dave's at three, but he has more coins than I do. So if he gets the event space, then I lose. I don't think I did. It's me. That last mini game got us tied on those stars. That very last game yeah. won it for you. It's a good thing I was an expert at slot car derby when I was 15. <laughs> hmm. Big purple balls, very nice. He, meanwhile, Waluigi just wanted big purple balls. <laughs> Doesn't he already have them? I mean, just because he wears purple clothing... ...doesn't necessarily correlate. I mean, if it's the only thing you wear... ...for your entire life, maybe it rubs off on you, though. Well, you know, speaking of rubbing off, Waluigi won't. And the reason he won't is because he wants purple balls so bad, he's willing to give himself blue balls. What he doesn't realize is that they don't actually turn blue. So he's been waiting... 40... <laughs> seven years. <laughs> abstinent. Not even a simple tug. He won't even have his crotch rub up against something by accident, lest he break his, his streak to get purple balls. So, you know, he's still, he's hoping. But Godspeed. So he's uh, allowed his pipes to get so clogged up, they're pretty much, it's pretty much solid in there. That's right, right and that's why he, he calls the Mario he Brothers. He's he gonna need a plunger for that. For those pipes. Well, that 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 the brings us full. Blunder. That pretty much brings us full circle. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very very thematically appropriate note to end on. So with that said, I'm glad to finally. I knew I wanted to play some Mario Party with you guys. I just didn't know when, but I'm glad we finally got a chance to do it. It was fun, and we had some weird and cool conversation. Mm -hmm. So thanks yeah. for joining, thank as you, always. Thank you for having us. Can you guys just drop your Twitch channels if you want people to check you out? Yeah. Uh, Agent Red Jackal. Um, Johnny Monkey. Without the Y. Dave Cat. Y'all know me. Yeah. All right. Well, now you can you can check them out. I, since fucking auto host doesn't work anymore, really, the best thing for you to do as a viewer would be to just. You know, favorite the channels if you... I think they're good streamers and they're good people, so check them out. All my mods do a pretty good job, and uh, you might enjoy. So, yeah. Well, once again, thank you guys. Have a good night. Thanks for the party. We'll do more Mario Party. I'm assuming it will be fun to do something for Christmas-ish. So maybe we'll get up, uh, get up to some more Mario Party antics by then. So, until then, I just lots of Halo. Team Slayer! Yes, Hell yeah. I, I just remember that my Twitch name is not Johnny Monkey. It's just John Full Sauce. <laughs> 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 oh. 
<laughs> you oh, heard him. Return to the town square. All right. Uh, good night, everybody. Thank yeah. you. I'm going to show this image, uh, the cursed plunged Birdo image. It's like punished snake, but plunged Birdo. Okay, well, now you're going to have to have dreams about this. Good night. Bye. Bye.